Hey, what is going on, beautiful people? Welcome back. It's your boy Blue, and welcome back to continue my virtual airline pilot career. And if you're just joining us for the first time, we started all the way back with no experience, no nothing. Started off with Ryanair UK, but we've come a long way. We just got a promotion with Aero Mexico in the 787, so I can't wait to go and take over my next flight all the way to Madrid. That's 10 hours. So, without further ado, we got flying to do. Let's roll. All right, let's get our runway turn off lights on, taxi lights on. Everything else on the overhead looks good to me. And we'll go ahead and uh, let's do a flight control check. But we'll click on the button here on our right side screen. And we'll do right side. Good. And to the left. That's good. All right. And it is. It's a bit hard to see. It is very, very dark here in the middle of the night. But uh, we're good. We are free and correct. They're ready. I'm ready. Let's go. Well, welcome aboard, and thank you guys so much for joining me. I'm super excited. This is my first 787-9 flight for Aero Mexico. We're almost to the runway here. It is very, very dark. It's about, what, 1 a.m.-ish uh, in the morning local time here in Mexico City. And uh, what you see on my radar here is actually on in my screen. That is not a weather radar. That is a terrain radar. Uh, the elevation here, uh, Mexico City sits about... 7,000 feet above sea level. But anyways, we're entering the runway. See what the land lights turned on and the strobe lights on as well as our wing lights. Boom, boom, there we go. And uh, we'll check and make sure. Yep, looks like we're good on the right, good on the left. I got traffic up high, but that should not be a factor. Yep, I see him up there. So we'll go ahead and uh, get onto the runway. Runway two, three, left. And it is, uh, it is gonna be a long takeoff roll, so do not panic. Uh, we should be good to make it we are definitely heavy today but let's go ahead and get lined up everything is good to go guys we're expecting nine and a half hours to ten hour flight cruising thirty five thousand feet here we go toga it's pulling up airspeed is live Nuts. Again, we're gonna have a very long takeoff roll here. You can see it's getting pretty slow to speed up. We are very heavy tonight. Come on, baby, you can do it. Give you V1, come on. There's V1. All right, there's rotate just a little bit too sensitive there on the yoke, but we're okay. We are airborne. We up, baby. Positive rate, you're up. Oh man, and check out the city lights of Mexico City down below us. 
This is why I love flying out here. All right, we're climbing out. Things are looking good. We got a good positive rate. Let's continue to climb and go LNAV, VNAV, autopilot's on. And look at that view. Oh, ay, yeah, yeah. Man, this is why I love flying in and out of Mexico City in the daytime and at night. Alright, let's take a quick look at Volanta, and we can see we are still departing just north of Mexico City, climbing up to 35,000. But uh, this is our entire flight track as I zoom out over the Gulf of Mexico, northeast of the United States, where they're going to hop over the North Atlantic Ocean, where we'll eventually we'll see the sunrise, and then we'll dive down into Madrid, Spain. We have 9 hours and 45 minutes remaining, 4,820 one miles to go, but expecting a fairly smooth flight, and I'm looking forward to landing under the sunlight in Madrid. So I will catch you guys when the sun rises. Enjoy the flight. Okay, we get and we back to wing card, three to left, 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 back to the left. Madrid approach, Aeromexico 116 heavy, descending via Zimmer 5 with Charlie. Connect 116, we went at red contact, it's in flight level 150, Tamura 5, Charlie, three to left. Down to 150, expecting uh, ILS 132 left. Air must go 116. Alright, we're clear down to 1,000 or 15,000 feet. As you can see, we are now descending into Madrid after a long 8 ish, 9 ish, how long has it been? Yeah, 9 hours across the North Atlantic from Mexico City. Uh, descending out of 39,000 feet, as you see there, we're now clear down to 15,000, but he did give us a bit of a runway change. I was, I was expecting 3-2 right, we are now getting 3-2 left, so we're going to have to make the appropriate changes in our FMS to make sure uh, that we do indeed get that. So we go into departure arrival here, go to routes, departure arrival index, arrival, and we'll just change this out for 3-2 left, just like that, and execute. And let's go ahead and open up our charts uh, for a quick brief of our approach. We've already started our descent uh, via the Zimmer 5 Charlie arrival. But uh, as you heard, just heard, we're descending and uh, expecting to land on way 3 to left. And you can see here, this is uh, what we got going on. So we're going to go right over the mountains here. Not too bad. He's cleared us down to 15,000, which would be right here at Avia. Uh, he'll probably clear us even lower than that. He may give us vectors. We will see. At the moment, though, we're planning to fly all the way down here to this waypoint of Fifec to make a left-hand turn, basically a left base hand turn into runway three to left and then here is our the ILS whiskey uh into three two left you can see here so left turn six thousand feet and straight it should be pretty uh pretty simple honestly um pretty straightforward not a whole lot of terrain in the way a little bit of terrain on the way but not in the way i should say so looking good we already got all our information set up and i'm ready to land this beautiful 787-9 into madrid man it's been a long flight we've been flying all night long and uh, we are finally almost there and there's nothing better than having a butter landing at the end of a long haul flight. And in the same way, there's nothing worse than having a smash of a landing after a long flight. So let's hope uh, that we deliver today. Left turn 100, Aeromasco 16. 
All right, making a turn to the left, one zero zero. He's also cleared us down to eight thousand feet. One zero zero sets. I know my speed break is out. Uh, he also had us go down to two hundred and thirty knots, so watching out for that. We're coming up on ten thousand feet here pretty soon. Airport is off in this general direction. And he's basically kind of vectoring us towards the uh, airport, as I kind of expected. There's also some more traffic uh, flying in on, uh, sounded like he was on approach. I'm not sure exactly where he is now, but uh, we are not alone out here. Left, zero, three, zero, cleared ILS, three, two, left, number three, Air Mexico, one, six. All right, guys, sounds like we are number three in line to land here in Madrid. Pretty busy tonight. It's pretty crazy, though. If you look at our chrono, uh, it's showing that we have been flying for nine and a half hours. We took off in Mexico City around 1 a.m. local time. Uh, it was pitch black, but a nice, clear um, clear night, very nice moon and all that stuff. And now we're coming into land in Madrid, and I can't believe the sun is actually setting. Like, I feel like I've been flying all day, but I guess if you really think about it, it has been nine and a half hours. So technically, that is all day. But we're coming up from left base to final. We're making a final turn here. We are cleared for the ILS. Uh, we are number three, so we're not yet cleared to land. There is the airport right there, and I can actually see some traffic. So I'm just going to go ahead and arm up our approach mode. And the aircraft should now capture the localizer and glide slope. We are below the pink diamond, that's the glide slope, and that right there is localizer by the other pink diamond down there. So we're looking good so far. There it is, you just captured it. You can see the aircraft now making a left-hand turn. That pink uh, line is the flight director. There's now captured the localizer, localizer's boxed in. Glide slope is not yet captured just yet. There's our airport over there. Looking good, DME 11.1. And uh, I'm gonna slow down a little bit. There we go, and we'll continue that le uh oh, why didn't we... Oh no. Left 270 to intercept, uh, Air Mexico 16. Yeah, I'm not sure what I did there, but it like, it captured the loke and then dropped it, so... We're gonna probably end up flying this thing the rest of the way by hand. He gave us a clearance to go 270 uh, in the left hand turn to recap so the local would reach. We'll try again. I'm gonna hit approach mode again, see if we can recap it. I don't know what happened there. It went into heading hold mode for some reason. But we're now flying it by hand, my controls. And we'll get slowed down even more as we are now less than 10 miles away from the airport. And we're a little low, so we're gonna pull up here. Auto brake is uh, disconnected, it says. We'll drop our gear. And, uh, yep, we're going to fly the rest of the way ourselves. So, my controls, I see the airport, I got a good visual. And we are a little bit low. Airbex 116, uh, wind call, 3 2 left, clear to left. Runway 3 2 left, uh, clear to land, Airbex go 116. EC20 Mike, left on Alpha, gate goal 4, stand tango 28. Alright, set our auto brake. We're still very low. Let's give it some power. And get the HUD on. I'm not used to landing with the HUD, but we are going to try it because you know what? We're a 787 pilot now. Alright, power, power, we're slow. But we are on the glide slope, that's good. Here we go guys, beautiful sunset arrival into Madrid. You can't ask for a better scene than this here. Clear day, great visibility, got some great ATC. Big shout out to Madrid Approach. We're coming online today.
All right, there's 1,000. Speed is a little okay. It's gonna chase that circle there we got there. Actually, the HUD actually is, kind of feels like I'm cheating. Like I'm flying. <laughs> I'm literally following this little circle, the guy, down to the runway. So we have no excuse at all to screw this up. Alright, runway seems to be clear from my point of view. We are landing nice and stable. Beautiful sunset on the left side. A little distracting just how good it looks, but here we come. 500. A little less power here. There we go. Over the extended center line. So far, so good. And we're down. All right. That's slow enough. I have no idea where we're parking. Do you stream on YouTube? CC. Si, si. Do you mind telling me your name, please? Blue Games. Okay, thank you very much. It sounded familiar. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, well, thank you. Gracias. Um, cool. <laughs> that's the first time that's happened on Vatum. Um, all right, so let me find out where we're going here. Um, Lima. Mike, where the heck is Mike? See, I tell you what, man, that's the thing about these foreign airports. Uh, well, foreign to me. I mean, not to some of you guys watching, but to me, I don't come out here to Spain all too often and uh, I don't come to Madrid. I can't remember the last time I flew to Madrid, actually, but uh, we're a little lost <laughs> at the airport. It's okay, I'm gonna find my way. Uh, I believe this is where we're supposed to be. Um, right here is a left turn, I think. Uh, and then we're going to stand five, eight, five, six, one, one of those. I think this is Mike. I hope this is Mike. I've been looking all over freaking Mike. But I think uh, stand five, six, whatever is here on the end of this terminal from what I could see from my chart that I have from Navigraph. ATC is probably laughing at me. I've gotten lost about three times since I've been on the ground here in Madrid. There's this beautiful sun uh, set over there. We are going to take gate 580 since uh, 581 doesn't seem to exist on this scenery. We'll park next to this Iberia. And uh, sadly, I don't I don't have confidence that uh, we're going to have a great rating at the end of this flight. I um, was kind of you know lost and forgot to turn my, my runway lights off. Forgot to turn off my turn on my taxi lights, so this is, I, I forgot a lot of stuff. So I'm not expecting to have the highest rating on this flight. But again, this is my first 787 flight with uh, Aero Mexico, so you know maybe they forgive me, and we'll hopefully do better next time. All right, so okay, we're gonna open up Simbit World to take a look at our flight log to see how we did. So as you can see, we failed a few things here on the left. Uh, apparently, I didn't turn my landing lights off early enough during a climb out, so we failed that. Uh, we went too fast on approach uh, above 200 knots. That's probably early in the approach. I don't actually remember that at all. And as our taxi in, we forgot to put our spoilers down. But again, I was super 
occupied. I'm actually surprised we did this well. I thought I forgot a lot more stuff in this flight, learning a whole new plane and everything. But we got a score of 95, landing rate of negative 131. I'm actually really proud of that. That's pretty good. Uh, and our final block time was about 9 hours and 43 minutes. Yes, it was a long flight. But hey, I'll take it. I enjoyed it. I really enjoyed this plane by Headwind, the 787-900. Man, wow. 787 this thing is good. I definitely recommend you guys check it out if you haven't tried the 7879 by headwind it's oh yeah i'm loving it so far looking forward to flying it more we have a lot more long flights coming up with the 787 so definitely stay tuned for that and also make sure you stay tuned for the next video because i have a feeling we may be getting hired by another airline and you got to come back to see who we go with one more time big shout out to madrid to the spanish atc out here as well as my homie lucas for hitting me up on vatsim as well thank you guys so much for your continued support on this series i have seriously seriously really enjoyed it let's keep it going let's keep flying let me know your stories as well post some screenshots if you like to my discord i would love to see where you guys are heading out to what airlines are you flying with who are you flying for where are you flying i want to know as well man let me know anyways until next time remember you have three choices give up give any give it all you got peace love and god bless you i'll see you guys next time in next video we out